14 past the hour, d row go. All right, so much to digest in this game. We have to start with a guy who hit seven homers in seven straight games, okay? And I'm gonna argue, he's, he's the best center fielder of all time. We're gonna bring up some boards here in a second. Let me take you through these ABs real quick. Mike Trout, let's go. Watch him if you miss over the heart of the plate or if you miss down just a smidge. Oh. I don't really like that, right? Everyone thinks they can rush him up. But if, can you execute that pitch time and time again? Just a smidge. I mean, that's about four inches down off the top of the zone. Dead center. See you later. That's one. Okay, nice pitch right there. I know you're trying to come inside. I'm going to wait for you to make a mistake. Change up. Could have doubled up right there. Oh. Let me wrap that down the left field line. Keep it going. Fill her up again. Maybe let me ambush you. Dead center, Eduardo Rodriguez. The ability to let the ball travel, and for him, I say it all the time, it's a different sound coming off his bat. It's a different fire of the midsection for this guy than everyone else. I'm telling you. The only one you truly watch that fires his midsection is Bobby Witt Jr. from the Kansas City Royals, who really kind of appears to look a little bit like him right there at the dish. But McCullers, back that up for me real quick. Take you through it. Back it up one more pitch. I promise you I'll get out of this quick. Run it. Lance McCullers is known for spinning it. Good pitch right there. Has him out in front. Maybe I can sneak a heater by. See. Oh. 92. It's unbelievable when he's locked in. And he's pretty much locked in. He's only played in 100 games this year. Watch this. Oops. Oh, mommy. So he went high. He tried to go there again. Missed. That goes dead center. That's Rod. Bring me up the two boards, please. Because I can make the argument when it's all said and done, this is the best center fielder that's ever played the game. I know Willie Mays longevity-wise. Mickey Mantle had the better rate stats for a shorter period of time. Highest OPS plus through first 12 seasons. Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig, Ty Cobb, Hornsby, Mike Trout, and Mickey Mantle. Bring me up the Mays and Griffey board with Mantle. Just di digest this. Wow. This is what we're witnessing. I mean, this guy changed the game. I, I wasn't around totally for Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle, but I watched him change the entire sport. I mean, wow. take it in. 176 OPS plus, 148 OPS plus with the kid. Both of them, Team USA. Here we go. All right, let's go to the next tile. Austin Hedges, Travis Sawcheck wrote a really great article that I dove in about pitch comp. You need guys like Austin Hedges on your team if you're going to be successful and get through the dog days of a buck 62. By the <laughs> way, he's gotten hot. He's hitting 278 over his last 12 games, mixing a bomb in Minnesota. But it spoke of him working with the IT people from the Cleveland Guardians on changing pitch comp right there. So run that back. I want to show the fans at home right there. Pause it right there. So it's got an automated voice. So what the pitcher's hearing is like a computer going fastball away, whatever it may be. He worked with the Cleveland Guardians people to put his voice on it. Oh. And also to put some expletives on some buttons. <laughs> so if a guy executes a pitch, it's a mm, yeah or nice job. You, you feel me right there? So what I love <laughs> is that he's taking it next level, run it. And he said it's it's sped you up. You call that a curveball? Yeah. He said it's sped up and some guys love it. He said Shane Bieber's not a huge fan, <laughs> but he said he rolled it out right here. And he's not even catching, but it's his voice Tristan McKenzie's hearing when he's getting the signs. And he said Tristan McKenzie when Stephen Kwan makes this throw to the dish right here and they're able to get Adam Engel at the plate, as Tristan McKenzie's walking off, he gets super fired up. And Austin Hedges is just hitting that F yeah button nonstop. And he said it's really kind of got the boys rolling. So that fires me up. You need those guys on a roster to help you win ball games and get you to the postseason. And we've talked about Edwin Diaz a ton this year, rightfully so. He's been amazing for the Mets. Emmanuel Classe is the best closer in the game. He showed it again last night. He came in this game. They got in that huge argument. It took about 12 minutes, and then Ron Culpa takes a foul tip off his face. They're checking on him for concussion, making sure he's all right. 
and he still comes out eight minutes later. Here's 100 miles an hour right down your throat with one of the nastiest cutters. And I think people don't realize we take you back to the All-Star game. 3-2 AL, and he punched the side. Schwarber, 100 mile an hour cutter he doesn't even flinch on. Jay Cronenworth, this almost hits him in the chin. Was unbelievable. So you side by side. I had the un uh, unfortunate luxury of facing Mariano, but that was like 93 to 95. Probably a little bit more movement on it. This is 99 to 100 and just bang in your face. So bring up the board on Classe and what he's, he's been able to do. Stats since 2021, MLB ranks amongst relievers. First, first, second, 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 first. So the Guardians are a problem, man. Steven Kwan, it was a 4 4 game. Kwan, little base hit on an 0 2. Ahmed Rosario, double. Bring this monster in, game over. Francona, red line. I only seen him get mad like that at Pebble Beach when he shanked like a pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good stuff.